Hey everybody, Brandy Joy here, your tarot reader, pick a card reader, and I wanted to share with you how you could easier, more easily pull a tarot card or more easily pick a tarot card when I do the readings for you every week. So if you're trying to figure out which card you should go with, A, B, or C, I'm going to give you some tips on how to tap into your intuition a little bit and how to pick the right card for yourself. So let's get started. When we pull tarot cards, we are pulling with what's called the clairsentience. That is a natural psychic gift that anyone can develop by doing things like um, Qigong exercises, also doing things like massage therapy or energy work or just learning to play around with energy with the hands. Um, so one of the exercises you can do is clap your hands together, rub them, pull them apart and do some breathing exercises and start really trying to feel the energy between your hands. Okay, this is Qigong exercises. So you just breathe and you just feel the energy. You start feeling the heat and the tingling between the hands. Now this will help you when you are pulling cards. However, if you're somebody that just likes to watch tarot reading and to choose a card, here's a few things for you. Um, you can do these exercises and then you could take like three pieces of paper and you could write down A, B, or C and you could put them right there or just one piece of paper with A, B, or C, and you can take your hand, your left hand is the more intuitive hand, so it's better to use the left, but you can use the right as well. Take your left hand, and you're going to scan the energy of A, B, and C. And when you start feeling a little bit of a heat or a tingling or a coolness, anything that just feels like, oh, that feels interesting, you can kind of feel something, that means that's the right letter for you, A, B, or C, right? So you're just gonna let your energy just feel that. When it feels right, when it feels light and it feels tingly or something, you're gonna know, oh, that's the right card for me. If you don't feel anything really, then that means those aren't the right cards for you. So you just have to like feel something. And so again, you can do these exercises with Qigong um, or just kind of play around with your energy and doing massage can also enhance your clairsentience. That can help you to pull a more accurate card. Another thing you can do is you can just do some breathing exercises first. So you could do like some just calming breaths. You can do some pranayama, which is breath work, like uh, breath of fire. And that's when you just um, do a lot of like yogic inhaling and exhaling with your diaphragm and your stomach, right? So you'll just go, that kind of thing. That'll help to clear your energy and clear your mind so that when you think of a card, you're not thinking of it with your mind. You're thinking of it with your intuition, with your third eye. You want your third eye to be the one, or your clairsentience, your energy body, to be the one to psychically, intuitively tell you which card to go with. You, you don't want to say C every single week and just say, oh, well, C is my favorite, so I'm just going to go with C. That's using your mind, and so that really won't work for pulling the right card. You want to do it in an intuitive way. So again, you can use your hand, um, you can use um, a, your third eye by just doing some meditation first or breathing and allowing the right one to come to you. You can also do the truth and lie test where you say something, right? You say something that's true, and so I'll say my name is Brandy, and I notice how that feels in my body, and then I'll say a lie, my name is Karen, and I'll see how that feels in my body. And then I'll think of A, B, or C. And so I'll say A. Does that feel more like the truth or the lie? So the truth and the lie gives you an energetic feeling. A lot of times you'll feel it right, right in here, but you could feel it anywhere on your body. But most of us feel it right in here. We'll feel like a tension, like a contraction when it's a lie or when it's not the right choice for us. And then we'll feel more of a contraction, an openness, a good energy, an open, relaxing feeling. And that will tell you that it's a truth. So if you're trying to pick A, B, or C, you'll just go through and you'll take a deep breath. And then you'll say, A, how does that feel to my body? B, 
How does that feel, right? And then C, and you just see how that feels with your body. So that's another way you can do it. So those are just a few exercises you can use to tap into your intuition. Um, you could meditate on it. Um, you could also use a pendulum or something if you wanted to. I used to use pendulums a lot. Um, and you could put A, B, or C, and then take the pendulum and see which one it's kind of drawn towards. When you hold it, you hold it between your two fingers. And then it's just like it has like a rock at the end, and you just let it kind of guide you. And that's using clairsentience as well. It's your energy body. Right. So yeah, that's how you will intuitively pull cards. And the way that I pull cards is I lay them out and then I take my hand and I pull the card, right? I'm just allowing my hand to pull. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not using my head. I allow my energy body to just do it and I trust it. That's the big key is you want to trust. Just allow it to happen. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and watch my pick a cards and try it out. It's a fun game we do every week and it gives you a lot of really good advice, especially if you use your intuition. But one last thing, if you can't intuitively pick a card right now, what you can do is you can just listen to the advice of the tarot reading for the A, B, and C and just see which one resonates with you the most and um, go with that for the week and then you'll start getting used to it as you practice because intuition and clairsentience and clairvoyance and all of those psychic senses they are senses so as you work with them they're like a muscle and you can actually like build them you can actually make them work better as you work with them so just keep watching pick a card and seeing which one resonates with you and then just kind of test okay you know what b really felt right for me when i listened to it and then see how your week goes and see and maybe even write it down you know some of the key things about those different cards and those different uh, choices and then see how your your week plays out because that's how i teach people to practice when they're learning cards is i will have them pull cards in the morning write it down what they're seeing and then the evening go back to that day and then look at what they wrote down and what the cards were and, and learn how to match it up right so you want to just kind of exercise with it right so i hope that helps you anyways i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in pick a card